In this first CAPE series, we attempt at explaining the evolution of Dalton's atomic theory and his experiments surrounding the atom. The ancient Greek philosopher Democritus was one of the first to theorize that the atom is the tiniest part of any element. There were other scientists that made significant contributions to Democritus' work. However, they weren't taken seriously due to the lack of experimental evidence. English chemist John Dalton, whose theories and ideas surrounding the atom were widely accepted as the modern atomic theory, mainly because he formed his theories based on experimental evidence. Dalton's atomic theory states that all matter was made of atoms which are indivisible. Now, what this is saying is that the atom could not be broken down into smaller units. Dalton's theory also states that all atoms of a given element are identical in mass and properties. All this is saying, and I will use oxygen as an example, the atoms inside of oxygen, they weigh the same or have the same mass. The atoms inside of oxygen, they have the same melting point. The atoms inside of oxygen, they have the same boiling point and the atoms inside of oxygen would react the same way. Continuing to the next part of the theory states that compounds are a combination of two or more different types of atoms. And to make this any clearer, we use the example of water, which is a compound that is consists of two different atoms, a hydrogen atom and an oxygen atom, both combined to form water. Moving on to the final theory, which states that a chemical reaction is a rearrangement of atoms. This means that during any chemical reaction, the atoms will move about to find their best suited positions in the new compound. Dalton's atomic theory had a few shortcomings and it had to be modified. In the mid to late 1800, the English physicist J.J. Thomson and his protege Ernest Rutherford disproved Dalton's idea that the atom could not be further divided as their experimental contributions were pivotal in identifying the subatomic particles known as protons, neutrons, and electrons. Based on all the things that was said, the atomic theory can be defined as a scientific approach of how matter is composed by tiny particles known as atoms. Let us recap what we have learned so far. 